So just what is a coat of arms? A coat of arms is a unique and recognizable design consisting of different emblems, figures, and symbols on a shield, often with a motto or slogan. Originally, a coat of arms was unique to a single person. As the right to bear arms was passed down to each generation, typically from a father to his eldest son, the arms became associated with entire branches of a family. In medieval Europe, knights often wore heavy armor and helmets, making it hard to tell who was who on the field of battle. To prevent confusion, the knights would decorate themselves, their helmets, shields, and surcoats. A surcoat was a loose robe worn over the armor, hence the term coat of arms. Beginning around the 1400s AD, coats of arms became formalized and regulated, typically by kings and queens or the monarch's appointed authority called the king of arms. They were granted for several possible reasons. For example, a soldier could be granted a coat of arms for showing great bravery or skill in battle. A scientist, Sir Isaac Newton, or a writer, William Shakespeare, were granted arms for being pioneers in their fields. But what are the different parts of a coat of arms? The design centers around a shield which varies in shape or size. This is then decorated with different elements and colors. Above this is positioned a helmet or helm backed with a wreath. Supporters, if any, are positioned on either side in a mantle or mantling decorated behind them. There may be a crest atop the shield, and some coat of arms have a motto or name above or below. Most coat of arms have a mixture of these elements which create a unique and individual design which symbolizes the person or family it belongs to. But do these symbols actually mean anything? Nobody knows for sure, but some historians and heraldists have developed educated guesses. For example, crowns are often added to recognize service to a king. A hand may appear to show faith and justice. The oak tree, or elements of it, show antiquity and strength. Did your family have a coat of arms? It might seem straightforward to simply search your family name and find the first coat of arms with that name, but it is slightly more complicated than that. Each surname might actually have several different coats of arms. So a John Gray, born in Berwick back in 1372 AD, might have had a different coat of arms to Henry de Grey, born at the same time in Nottinghamshire. So to find your family's coat of arms, we have to look back through your family tree to find the exact match for you and your family. To find out more about coat of arms, visit coadb.com. Coats of arms are a great way to show your family pride and celebrate its history.